morning everyone from Wichita Falls, Texas. A little noisy here by the falls, but I decided to just kind of take a day because I've been doing a lot of traveling. I've been feeling really rushed and I've always wanted to check out Wichita Falls. So here we are. It appears to be a four-story falls of a couple pools. Then it goes back down into that pool. And they built a bunch of walkways. There's a bridge. There's the interstate so that everybody coming in can check out the falls. Kind of convenient that the famous Wichita Falls have all these nice little walkways going through. There's, there's more to the story, actually. Hang on. But <laughs> thanks for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below in the video description if you need some mobile unlimited internet today. Taking Tater Tot out for some exploring around Wichita Falls. It's gonna be cold today. It doesn't even hit 50 degrees for a high and it's gonna freeze tonight. Yeah, we got the Wichita Falls right there. We got the Wichita River right there. Uh, ironically, I hate to ruin the falls, but you have to hear this story. Uh, many, many years ago, a flood came through the Wichita River and took out the famous falls, the Wichita Falls. Uh, after the flooding went down, there was no longer any falls. It was just the Wichita River. But you have this town, this city named Wichita Falls. And they said, well, you know, we can't really be called Wichita Falls when we don't have falls anymore. So they literally built these falls. This is 100% man-made fake falls, if you can believe that. What they did is they are pumping water from the Wichita River underground up to the top of this falls and they are manufacturing it. So this never changes. The amount of flow of water that you see here, it never changes. It never gets more water. It never gets less. <laughs> it's just all fake. But because it's so controlled, I think that's what makes it so pretty. You know, I kind of agree. If I'd been looking forward to coming here and then all of a sudden realize that there's not even any waterfalls in Wichita Falls, yeah, uh, that probably would have been pretty weird, right? <laughs> and I guess because they pump the water, they can probably maintain the temperature. So this probably runs year round, even when it's cold. Like I said, I love all the walking trails that they were able to build because they could build it however they want. Let's go up to the top viewing area up there. Not a bad little walking trail. It zigzags and uh, winds up the hill here. And then there's a little walking trail here. You can get to the edge here and get to the top of the falls. And as you can see, the water just kind of comes out of nowhere because there's no river up here. It's just a cemetery, cemetery. And the water falls down and does its thing and looks beautiful. And it's, it's pretty awesome up here, but it's kind of chilly. And there's how you enter uh, Wichita Falls from the east coming west to see this awesome view. The only thing is, you can see my shadow right there. The sun, you know, is right in your eye. So the fact that they built this this way on purpose year round, you're just gonna be staring into the sun, you know? It would have been better if this was flipped around maybe on the other side of the highway where the river's over there, you know? So the sun wasn't always in your eye when you're trying to look at it. Hard to take a picture of it, but pretty cool. Yep, can see the water being pumped right under those rocks right there. Pretty neat. Okay. I forgot to remote start tater tot. I'm gonna remote start tater tot from my phone here. There we go. Get, get the heat going for a whopping five seconds before I get in. Okay, here. So we'll just drop. Are they testing sirens? Oh, it's noon. Yeah, they must be testing their tornado sirens. That's creepy. Okay, so let's just go explore around here in Tater Top for a little bit, find some interesting stuff, maybe find somewhere to grab lunch, and then we'll go check in on the kitties. It's just a warning, right? Like they're testing it? All right, not just the fake falls uh, for Wichita Falls. There's one other thing they're very famous for. <laughs> Have you heard of the world's smallest skyscraper? Yeah, 
Wichita Falls holds the record for the world's smallest skyscraper. It's kind of a sad story, actually. The city actually got duped by a con man. Instead of building this skyscraper 480 feet tall, they built it 480 inches tall. I don't know how their fight went with the contractor. I don't know if they were awarded any money or if they just forgot to look at all the fine print. But uh, definitely the world, oh, there's your little plaque right there. See that blue sign? The world's littlest skyscraper built in 1919. Man, it would be cool to go up there. Uh, the business here, hello again. They're like an antique store. Or what does this say? Please use street entrance? Because it would sure be fun to go up there re-elect Dave Alred state rep. Okay, well, see what I can do about that. No, I don't think anything is open over here. Let's see here, ah, it does say closed, darn it. And no hours listed, wait, yeah, there it is. Tuesday through Friday, Saturday. Um, yep, yeah, it should be open. It absolutely should be open. They might be closed for the season though. I don't know, but yeah, I was just wondering if once you get inside there, you could go up to the top of the skyscraper there, but it's that time of year. Everything has to close for the season until it's nice again. Whatever. I'll just enjoy everything by myself out here. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> All right. I picked a spot for lunch. I'm going to check out Stone Oven Pizza. Look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles up in their squares there. Uh, I think this is going to be a, a good spot for lunch. All right, we're inside here. It's uh, lunchtime on a weekday, so it's not crazy busy, but this is a really cool themed spot. They got some uh, specialty pizzas. They, I ordered the Phasmos Jerkin' It. <laughs> That's what it's called. The Phasmos Jerkin' It Chicken Barbecue Slice and uh, another slice. So there's their, their ovens back there. Really nice guys. They told me about something else I should go visit. And they have some uh, local, local brews. This one is the one I got. They also have a little stage here for some concerts and stuff going on. This is a uh, Texas brew here, the Glamorama Hazy IPA. Okay, I'll try that one. It's very local. It's made here in Wichita Falls Brewing. Oh, okay. Pretty good, made straight from the falls that we just visited. No, probably not. <laughs> All right, there's the uh, meat selection with five different kinds of meat on it. And I'm gonna try something a little different. Yeah, that's, that's, that's avocado on that pizza there. There's also peppers, there's onions, but uh, this is one of the ones that they're also famous for and I'm gonna try it. Okay, the barbecue sauce on this one is very potent and strong. Holy ground. That is freaking delicious. There's also pineapple on this pizza. Okay. I don't hate it. Different. I'm picky about my pizza though has to be Coke with, well, I guess I'll do Pepsi or something else, but soda with pizza, I, they can't do beer with pizza. They also gave me some banana nut bread made locally here. It's really good pizza though, guys. I just don't like the green, green peppers. Woo, full guys. I didn't finish the avocado slice of pizza, it just wasn't my jam, but you know, at least I tried it, you know. Not afraid to try new things these days. I am gonna save the banana nut bread. I'm gonna actually go check back in on the kitties and see how they're doing. Um, I'm really having a good time today though. Something about just not traveling. This is, see, I am a traveler. I'm a nomad. However, I don't really like driving the RV around, you know, five, six hour trips. I like parking the RV and living in the RV and then exploring, like this has been one of the best days so far in over a month for me, just exploring and going around. There's no rush, there's there's no schedule, there's no nothing. I wanna check out these alleys that they told me about here and um, just really liking Wichita Falls and it may have a lot to do with the fact that I'm just dinking around, you know? There's, there's no rhyme or reason to anything.
But yeah, let's go check in on the kitties. Tara, can I tell you how good this pizza was? It was so good, 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 good. It was so good, you would have loved it. Opie, I had pizza. What are you having, Kibbles? Man, my, my bowl's empty, Dad. You don't have a voice yet, I have to give you a voice. You have to have voice, like all of Camper Van Kevin's dogs. Yep. Man, my, my name's Opie, and I don't have any food. Man, my name's Tara, and I would have loved that pizza. I would have loved it, Dad. Yeah, yeah. At least it's a really nice day today in Texas. Lots of sunshine, little chilly, but lots and lots of sunshine. Okay, so granted, everything is going to look huge next to little tater tot here, but a couple days ago, we saw the world's largest Bowie knife in Bowie, Texas, and today, well, we've got the world's largest shovel, and it's a, it's a mini shovel. Looks, looks huge next to tater tot. I'll go ahead and snap me a photo for Instagram. I have quite the collection of quirky photos on Instagram of world's largest things. This looks like it's actually made of real metal, like real steel too, huh? Oh yeah, that is heavy duty. That's the real thing. It's got a wood handle. I love it. Well, they did really good with that actually. Right out front here of uh, Bowles Construction in Wichita Falls. Oh, hey, it's King Kong. Oh, King Kong mural here. Wichita Falls, Texas by Ralph Stearns six years ago. When I'm feeling like thrifting, I got three options. I can search for thrift stores on Google, sometimes flea markets, usually antique stores, although I really don't like antique stores. Look at this, look at this place. Vintage Mercantile Alley Cat. <laughs> With the kitty kitty. That's a Maine Coon, I think. Yeah, this place could be really cool. I think I missed the front entrance, but there's a typewriter with the kitties. It's a kitty, 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 yeah. Don't know if I'll be able to film in here, but I wanna go check it out. I'll let you know if I see anything cool though. Oh my gosh, I like this place already. Hi, kitty, kitty. This place has fuzzy butts. How you doing, kitty, kitty? <laughs> Do you have any more kitty friends in here? What, what's good in here? What, what should I go check out? You show me where the good stuff is. Okay, where's the mice? Where's where's the Mickey? Okay. I love these kinds of things. It takes a little bit of time to get through some of these bigger stores, but it's the hunt, you know? You just never know what you're gonna find. Wow, look at that old bench. Weird. Was that a Red Rider? <laughs> old uh, security lights there. Man, wow, vintage Tinker Toy cans. That's kind of cool. I think, is that a gumball machine? No, I think it's meant for like feeding animals. Be cool to put some treats in there and have viewers come up inside the RV and give the kitties treats. <laughs> wow, look at this vintage Walt Disney school bus lunchbox, 44 bucks. Man, that is ridiculously cool. But sometimes the prices are out of my range. 44. You know, I gotta I gotta be careful. Cracker Jack. Wow. This one has the thermos in it. I can feel it. Yep, it says thermos included for 30. And oh, that's fun. Oh boy. Whoa. 12 bucks. We're right there, we're close. I will never again see anything like that. You know what this is? It's a very old school uh, pinball machine. Yeah, it's like for playing cards, pinball. That's gotta be from the 40s though. Oh man, my mom has a collection of these Bugs Bunny 50th birthday cups. Uh, I miss mom. We'll go see her this summer though. Oh, oh boy, I already have that one. I do, yep. Holy cow, anybody uh, collect Snoopy stuff? Peanuts? Oh my gosh. I think Snoopy stuff would be a cool stuff to collect. Not cooler than Mickey though, no. Okay, well I was just getting ready to check out and she told me that there's an upstairs. And I thought I heard some creakly noises up here <laughs> to think it's possibly double what it was downstairs, upstairs, man. I'm having a good day. I know this isn't for everybody, so. Oh my gosh, 
All right, I'll be back in an hour, guys. I got some more work to do. <laughs> uh, Mickey Mouse phone that I already have, 32. It's actually a good price. I think I paid 45 for that particular one. Oh my gosh, I already see more Mickey stuff. A couple Mickeys in here. Not interested in those. Some little Jack in the Box bobbleheads. But guys, this is what caught my eye here. Oh boy! Wow, that is cool. All right, I actually had a lot of fun in there. That was a really cool building and uh, got some cool stuff. So I'm gonna head back and see the kitties now. Opie, you don't seem too impressed by my Mickey haul. No, you don't seem too impressed. I got three Mickey books. Got that guy there, pretty cool looking. And this one, <laughs> it's a piggy bank. There's a slot right there for pennies. And there's one penny in there. These are really lightweight too, so won't be too bad traveling with those around the country. I pet another kitty. I did. He was a he was a big fuzzy butt. Maine Coon. I want you to be that big. That'd be cool. Tara, I pet another kitty. Yeah, he was a big boy. He's a big boy. It reminds me how tiny you are. When are you gonna get big? Hmm, you gonna be a big girl? I don't wanna be a big girl, I wanna be a nice lady. Oh, no okay, kind girl. Don't know if I love how early it gets dark around here this time of year. I mean, six o'clock and it's pitch black and feels like it's time to be done, but actually I'm gonna do some editing later. What I wanna do is there's a Christmas light show. It's Christmas time and I wanna go end with that. So I'm gonna take you guys with me, gonna make some hot chocolate here, and then we're gonna go enjoy the Christmas lights here in Wichita Falls so that I can set my alarm and get back on the road towards New Mexico in the morning. Okay guys, thanks for joining me. Merry Christmas. Let's go have some fun. Mm -hmm.